All right, TNX and Tesla. All right, so TNX, this is I got I got this one plastered everywhere for like forever. Um, this drama of a gorgeous, if you if this was a stock you'd want to be in, right? <laughs> this is just green, 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 green. All right. So this was the low, the end. Bonds in August. Bonds are done going up. I felt really, really comfortable with that. I'm on a weekly, but just to kind of show you that happens to be the red happens to be a monthly. We spent a lot of time in 2001 before we actually got above firmly above the 10 week, above the 200 week and above this monthly. Once we did, oh, it was it was really, really solid. We had a, a strong tag and a pullback that was shallow before gapping up that became the level to trade against. In other words, it's so confirming when we have a gap up. Ran right straight through, shockingly, through a quarterly, not to mention a monthly, that just shows how strong the puppy was. All right, so that was back in uh, April of 2022. Curiously, just before the, uh, before the dollar uh, yuan and the dollar yen took off. So this was a massive confirmation that uh, market was ready. That was March and then um, early April. Anyway, it did shallow pull back to the 10 week, bounced, uh, moved higher. June, remember everything changed. June 15th was the low. And then we had this pullback. And then boom, we have just been really, really 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit tighter, but every level, June into August, uh, September, three months later, that was it. Yeah, that's exactly three months later, just enough energy to really push through. Um, and then it gapped up on a monthly. I'll, I'll show you that in just a second, but it gapped up on a monthly. We had a pullback that was shallow, and this is just firming. 3.9, I said, if we stay below 3.9, we're going to go to 4.3. 4.7. Um, so I have 4.7. I didn't think we'd get there until next year, first quarter by March. But it looks like we could very well get there this year. So those are my line. And this would be the trigger. Once we get above this 4.1, we will uh, start to pu push. That's not quarterly, that's actually monthly. Oh, it's also the 400. Yeah. So the 400 is literally was was resistance. It is now support. 4.7. It's coming to a theater near you very, very quickly. It's also a FIB level, which is fascinating. Um, so it's a monthly, it's a FIB, and it's a quarterly. So 47.19 is a quarterly. Uh, 4707 is a is a fib 261.8 and 4713 is a monthly. So in an in a nutshell, 4.7. Oh, by the way, I forgot on the TNX that monthly. That was actually a wide-eyed. Oh my goodness, we just gapped up. So this was also my this 2.6 was solid support, gapped above a monthly, 3.25, and ran like the wind to the next quarterly level, also the 400. And now we're closing, we closed above it on a week. That was impressive. We've continued to move higher. That's impressive. Even these little shallow pullbacks, I haven't trusted because the, the angle is just so solidly in trend, right? But this gap up is impressive. So there's really, technically speaking, a lot of strength in the 10 year.